I'm about to show you the best way to lace your Adidas campus. Just follow these simple steps to learn how to star lace. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tongue and push it down into the shoe. That will make sure that you can get to the lace holes far more easily. We're going to take the lace and we're going to bring it up through the last hole on the outside of the shoe. Bring it all the way through. And you're going to leave about 10, 12 centimetres of lace at the end. And then we're going to pass the lace across the shoe. So make sure you're flattening it out and we're going to bring it down through the inside top hole. So bring the lace through, keeping it nice and flat to make a bar. And then we're going to take this lace down through the inside and we're going to skip a hole and we're going to bring it up through the third hole from the top. So bring it through the hole and we're going to make sure even on the inside it sits nice and flat. That's just to make sure that when you bring the lace out of that hole it comes out nice and flat and you get a nicer looking style. So we're going to bring that across and we're going to put it down the opposite third hole from the top to make a second bar. Now you don't want the bars to be too tight because eventually you're going to bring this tongue back up again and the tongues are nice and chunky so you don't want them pulling too much on these two bars because otherwise it'll be too tight for your foot. So we're going to take this lace and we're going to bring it down through the side, down on this side of the shoe. We're going to bring it up through that first hole there. So thread your lace back through the two bars underneath. Just make sure that that lace is sitting nice and flat under there. If you pull too hard on this bar, just loosen it off a little bit. And then we're going to bring this up through here. So before I do that, I'm just going to make sure that my lace is really nice and flat all the time. Thread it through. And then I'm going to bring it up from here and I'm going to take it down through this hole that already has the lace in it. So flatten it out, make it easy for yourself. And then to get this lace down through the hole, just pull this lace over a bit so you can see the hole and then it should be easier for you to push it through. And then guide it through, making sure it's sitting nice and flat as it comes through there. And you just want it overlapping the top of the lace that's already in there. And then you're going to send this lace down through this side again, through this side, and you're going to bring it out through that front hole. So thread it underneath the laces that are already done. And bring it up through this hole. Just make sure as well that when your lace comes out the hole, it's sitting nice and flat. And then we're going to send this across the shoe and down through this hole here that's already got this lace in. So just making sure that you're pulling that lace over so you can see the hole and push that lace in. Might take a little bit of persistence to get it in the hole when it's already got a lace in there. But pull it up. Just check the tension on your laces that it's not getting too tight or too baggy. And then this lace here is going to come down through the inside of here and you're going to bring it up through this first hole again. So take your lace down through the laces, underneath. Make sure it's sitting nice and flat under there. And then you're going to bring it up here. So again, you're going to need to pull this lace back again. Pull it back so you can get the lace in that hole. and then making sure it's nice and flat. This time the lace is going to come up and it's going to go over this top bar but because it would be a bit loose if you just sent it straight up we're going to tuck it in a little bit. So we're going to take it under this one keeping it nice and flat. Because you've gone under there we're going to go over there and because you've gone over there we're going to go under this one. 
it just helps to keep that lace in place. Then you're going to send the lace back over and down through this hole. So we're going to do the opposite of this. So because you've gone under here, we're going to go over. Because you've gone over, we're going to go under. And because you've gone under, we're going to go over. And then we're going to take it down into this hole. So just make sure that you're not pulling too tight on this equally, not keeping it baggy. So take that lace, thread it through this hole by pulling the lace first so that you can get in there, push it through and then bring your lace through. Make sure to keep it as flat as possible. So you might need to guide it in with your finger a little bit like that. And if you found that it's pulled a little bit too much on there, just pull this back a little bit. Don't worry if this is looking a little bit loose because when that tongue comes up, it will take up the space. And then you're going to take this lace and you're going to take it all the way back up under here. So thread it underneath all your laces that you've made. Make sure you've tucked it in underneath there. And then you've got your two laces at the top. So what you need to do now is bring your tongue back up and slide these down both sides of your tongue. So just push it down either side. Just adjust now. You might find that your bar is a little bit baggy and some of your loops that you've made. So this one's a little bit baggy. So what I'm going to do is pull it on it there and pull on here and it'll just tighten it a little bit. So just make sure it's sitting in the right place, that it's all nicely aligned, that all your laces are overlapping where they should be. And then when you've got the shoe on your foot, what you're gonna do with these two is you're going to tie them into um, a very gentle knot. So you just literally knot your two laces together like this, and then just gently just knot them over again. So you've made a very gentle knot like that. And then that would sit on top of your foot and underneath the tongue. And because the laces are so soft and wide, it should be quite a comfortable wear, but I'd probably recommend that you wear socks. So you tuck that under there. There you have your star lace Adidas Campus.